We founded the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Center in 1999. One of the things we really focus on at the Parkinson's Disease Center here is an integration between medical care and between research programs, and to do it at one of the largest Parkinson's disease clinical research centers in the world. The Institute for Neurodegenerative Diseases of Florida includes a clinical care center, a research center, a wellness center, and the foundation. We're a non-university-based academic medical center, and our goal is to advance research in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, as well as Lewy body dementia. It's our goal to prevent and treat these neurodegenerative diseases in ways that in the past we never thought were possible. Parkinson's disease is a very important problem because it's the second most common neurodegenerative disease of aging. It's increasing in incidence. And in the community, it's a major problem. At our center, we're able to combine expert medical care by movement disorder specialists, nurse practitioners, with access to research programs that patients can find out about and decide whether they want to be a part of. And through the support of our foundation, we're able to offer wellness programs at our Parkinson's Wellness Center, where there's daily educational lectures, support groups, Tai Chi, mindfulness programs, and many different ways of trying to support our patients, their caregivers, their families, in trying to live with Parkinson's disease. We offer a patient-centric interdisciplinary approach. We offer comprehensive evaluations for motor and non-motor symptoms of neurologic disease. Patients are evaluated by movement disorder specialists. We also offer them evaluations by psychiatrist, neuro-ophthalmologist, other neurologists, physical therapists, speech therapists, and social workers. We have a lot of new therapies and ways to investigate earlier and with more diagnostic certainty. We're talking to patients early on about ways of looking at their dopamine system. What is happening in the brain that may be causing them to have a tremor? And so as I'm talking to patients, I'm getting a feel for what are their priorities? What are they looking for out of a treatment plan and goal? Is there a way that I can get at them feeling better now? And is there a way that I can treat them and offer them state-of-the-art therapies that may make them feel better years down the line? One of the big problems that I encountered in my previous job was that it took patients so long to get into the clinic that they were all on treatments, and so we had to unravel what had been done before, before getting them on the right path. And here in this clinic, I've been thrilled to notice that we're seeing patients earlier, and therefore we're able to offer them the best medication from day one, as well as participation in clinical trials that may even slow or stop the progression of their disease. We've been really grateful to be involved with the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research and their PPMI biomarker program, which really I think is destined to allow an earlier and more accurate diagnosis and really spearhead uh, the research into medications that hopefully can slow the progression, hopefully stop the progression. We've been involved with other programs through the NIH and the Parkinson's Study Group and through a number of pharmaceutical companies looking at late phase one, early phase two, uh, phase two and phase three programs and trying to find better treatments for our patients. Our center is very similar to university. We offer pre-med and medical students and medical graduates an immersive exposure to the diagnosis and management of common and rare movement disorders. Students and trainees have the opportunity to participate in research projects during their rotation at our center. And ultimately, these educational opportunities improve patient outcomes. We become very interested in trying to understand when does Parkinson's disease begin? How can we define the beginning? And importantly, how can we try to prevent either initial development of Parkinson's disease as a clinical syndrome, and how to prevent things like dementia and imbalance as the disease progresses. The Parkinson's Research and Education Foundation and the Alzheimer's and Parkinson's Research and Education Foundation is committed to supporting research initiatives, community outreach, and education for Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Lewy body dementia, and other neurodegenerative diseases related to aging. Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative dementias begin silently in the brain before clinical symptoms become apparent. 
That leaves a lot of time to use evidence-based and safe lifestyle approaches such as education, nutrition, physical exercise, stress reduction, and cognitive engagement. It's our goal to increase visibility and public awareness of our foundation so that we can increase philanthropy, especially related to Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and Lewy body disease prevention. If you'd like to learn more, visit parkinsoncenter.org, which includes the clinic and the clinical research programs under the Institute for Neurodegenerative Disease. Or visit IND Florida, which includes our foundation and wellness programs that are available for anyone for free.